Hey, it's Andrew with GY6Vids, and in today's video, we have the Nemo Arms Watchman 2.0. This is their Omen 300 Win Mag semi-automatic rifle. This is going to be fun. Today we're shooting the 220 grain 300 Wim Mag Nemo arms ammunition. We're also shooting the DRT terminal shock ammunition 300 Wim Mag, and these are 150 grain. So there's going to be a little bit difference in change of speed when it comes to this ammunition, but that's the nice thing about having an adjustable gas block. If you have issues with certain things cycling, you can always adjust it for more or less gas depending upon what you're using. All right, so we use the Ranger 1000 from Vortex Optics Rangefinder. Uh, I love this little thing. I take it with me all the time, especially when I do somewhat longer range. We're at about 100, 101 yards. It's gonna be plenty to get an idea of how accurate this thing is for MOA accuracy. Let's put in five rounds. We're gonna start off with Nemo ammunition first. There's four and five. All right, let's see what this looks like. Charging. A slight adjustment. I remember I had this out at about 500 yards. Make a nice turret adjustment real quick. Okay, we have our parallax adjustment on the side. We're putting it at 100. That way our reticle and our target's in the same focal plane. Let's see how it looks. Okay, that one's bullet touching bullet, which is nice. Yeah, we got maybe slightly off from touching, but we're hitting a little bit high, which is a tiny bit high. So we're looking at less than a quarter, and I'll show you that in a second. Let's move on to the DRT ammunition, the terminal shock, and this is a lighter grain. This is a 150 grain cartridge, so you're looking at a little bit more speed. But once again, you shoot for dead center, and if you're slightly off, don't chase the bullet. Just keep aiming dead center, and that's how you get your grouping. So let's load up the mag and see what happens. <laughs> So once again, like I was saying, we're going to aim for dead center on the target. We're going for the head this time, and we're going to take five shots, see what the grouping looks like when it changes in grain weight. I have the gas block adjusted down one notch, so it's rather than being full bore, it's one notch down. It's allowing me to cycle the 220 grain and the 150 grain, no problem. So plus it cuts down the recoil a little bit, which is nice. Looks like we're bullet touching bullet from the first impact point. So there's another flyer for each group, but it is what it is. Let's see what happens with number three. Yep. Second, third, and fourth shot are all touching, which is nice. And now we're going for number five. Yep. 
And number five, dead center with the rest of them. Looks like we're all about sub MOA on this right now, minus the one flyer on both five rounds. Let's go take a peek. As you can see here, this is the group with the Nemo Arms 300 Win Mag ammunition. And we're impacting within a smaller group than a thumb, just outside of a thumb, about the size of a quarter. So you're looking at that MOA impact points. All the bullets are touching in some fashion. Um, I would like it a little bit tighter than that, but from a semi-automatic platform, it's pretty awesome. The DRT terminal shock, very accurate. Uh, you're looking at three rounds that are all on top of each other, about the size of a dime, and then we have another bullet impact that's just slightly off of it underneath, and then we have the flyer up top. The stand is wobbling. This is a good example of how windy it is right now, so for this ammunition to be this precise from that platform, I'm loving it. But the DRT is a little bit more accurate. I'm um, looking at about the size of a dime. And the Nemo Arms ammunition though, is definitely accurate, that's for sure. Let's push it out to 500 yards and see how the accuracy changes. And now MOA, a lot of people don't understand MOA. MOA accuracy is one inch grouping at 100 yards. And it gains exponentially as you walk your way out. So it's two inch groupings at 200 yards, three inch groupings at 300 yards, four inch groupings at 400 yards, so on and so forth. So at 500 yards, we should have a five inch group uh, about the size of the eight ring, we will see. Let's put some stickies on here and let's get going. First off, we will shoot with the Nemo arms. All right. Perfect. Ready to rock and roll. It'll be interesting to see that grouping when we get down there. All right, so we got five in here. Let's see what we got. All right, well, let's go down there and take a peek. From what I can see is the DRT ammunition, obviously is 150 grains, moving a little bit faster, and it impacted higher than I thought I was going to, but I looked at the impact points even in the wood, and it's still keeping uh, less than a hand width of a circumference. And then the Nemo arms keeping a hand's width as well, which means I think a thousand yard test is in order for sure. And I do have a thousand yard range I can shoot at. So if you guys want me to shoot this bad boy at a thousand yards, leave a comment in the video and uh, let me know if that's something you might want to see. Enough precision, enough technical talk. Let's shoot the crap out of some watermelons, see what that looks like. Oh yeah. I think you know what's gonna happen. No need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smoke. Watermelon everywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. <laughs> Let's see if I can transition from target to target to target. So I have it on 15 power, which is still pretty magnified at only 15, 20 yards right here. Let's see what I can do with some automatic rate of fire and see if I can get some target acquisition. In three, two, one.
know, shooting watermelons and soda bottles is one thing. Now to shoot a propane container while it's on fire is a whole other ball game. Let's go take a peek. Okay, so we have the propane container down there with some road flares and six different lines of 50 pound test fishing line tied off to the tank. Everyone's back and I'm ducking behind the table. We have it tied off because I don't want it spinning through the air, but I think it might still do it. We're gonna risk a $600 DSLR down there. We'll see. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh boy. Fire in the hole. Oh, shoot it again. It was interesting to say the least when I first shot it because the fishing line held it in place, shooting straight up and I was just awestruck. I was like, oh my God, it's working. <laughs> I was expecting it just to spin around. Wow, this is the stuff I live for. This has been Andrew with GY6 Vids. This is the Omen from Nemo Arms, the Watchman 2.0 semi-automatic 300 wind mag. But we didn't have to lube it or clean it because of malfunctions. We just did it to take care of the rifle because when you're breaking in a rifle, you want to take only about one or two shots and clean it, one or two shots and clean it, and repeat that process. But out of about, I'd say 150 rounds, not a single failure to feed or jam, nothing. <laughs> Just precision badassery. Eh. What else can I say? Head over to Nemo Arms. The link's in the description of this video. Go check out what other platforms they have. They have AR-15 platforms, they have 300 Blackout, they have 308. If you like that type of stuff, you got plenty of versatility, head over to youtube.com forward slash gy6vids and hit the subscribe button. And also right next to the subscribe button, there's a notification button. You hit that, it'll send you emails when I post new stuff. Also social media, facebook.com forward slash gy6vids, instagram.com forward slash gy6vids. Come say hi, I love to see you and hope you appreciate the video. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.